Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm gonna have a play around with the Canva Record Yourself, the screen recording, just to see how it compares. Uh, you probably can notice that I'm using Loom and I've been using that for a few years because I think it's just really easy to use. I can change the controls, change my background. And so let's just see how it works. So I'm gonna move myself out of the way so you see, I've just created a square blank canvas. This was an Instagram square blank canvas. And now if you go to uploads, you'll see record yourself. So I'm gonna press record yourself and then just see what happens. So I'm gonna record myself and you can see me twice here because this is the Canva one, the smaller one, and I this is my Loom one here. If you go up to the person icon where it says camera, we've got camera, camera and screen and screen. So let's actually choose. First of all, I want a different mic. So let me move myself over. I want the wireless mic so that the sound quality is a little bit better before I start recording. And then I also want to have a look at the dashboard of Padlet. I'm gonna look at a resource but test the screen recording. So let's put share here. And you can see this is my loom that's actually screen recording my dashboard on my Padlet wall, but I can view in the Canva tab. So let's have a look what that looks like. That's here. So I'm going to start recording. Okay, so let's just start recording. This is on Canva. And you can see this is what I'm recording here. I'm just testing. I'm going to view in the Padlet here. I'm going to create a blank sandbox, which is what I did last week, my exquisite sandbox. And then I have lots of lovely little post-it notes that I'm going to put here in green. And I can duplicate that, I know, with the little hand. I can move them around. I can change colors as well, and I can do all of that. So let's go back and view in the Canva tab. So in the Canva tab, my image is still here, but when we're actually viewing in the Padlet tab, my image is not there. But when you press done, um, well, let's just do that together. So I'm gonna press done now, and then you'll see, I'm gonna press play now. And you can see this is what I'm recording here. I'm just testing. I'm going to view in the Padlet here. I'm going to create a blank sandbox, which is what I did last week, my exquisite sandbox. And then I have lots of lovely little post-it notes that I'm going to put here in green. And I can duplicate that, I know, with the little hand. I can move them around. Okay, so we know that that works. We're gonna save and exit and then see what happens. So I'm gonna save and exit. And you can see this is what I'm recording here. I'm just testing. I'm gonna view in the Padlet. And so you can see that I've got the little uh, screen recording of the Padlet and my description of that and I can move my picture around. So I thought that that was quite nice. So maybe in the future, I will think about using the screen recording. You can see that they're separate uh, files here, but there are so many new functionalities that Canva are rolling out all the time. And this is not a new one, but I just thought what a great tool where Canva really is a one-stop shop for everything. Now, the other thing that I like to explore is if you scroll down, there's the magic media. So I'm just gonna press on the magic media as well and just go through a couple of the things in the magic media and how I use them. So the graphics, you can see, um, you can use the AI generated, which is in beta. You can choose the style. So for example, if you were creating a coloring in book for your students, you would probably choose the doodle style, the theme of that unit of inquiry, for example, and then you generate some lovely graphics here. So images as well. These are all the different types of images. And I have tried the videos, but there's limited credits. So this what just to show you, uh, it's not great yet. I'm hoping that the tool is going to improve with time. I said pop art. This was actually part of their example. Pop art, animated background, minimal motion, design aesthetic with my tour Pedagucci. But of course, I don't know who Pedagucci is yet. And so that's why I think um, it wasn't a great video. But I think eventually it's going to start, you know, generating. I, I think that if I put a better prompt in, then I'll probably generate better videos. Okay, so that was just a little snippet 
on Canva and their screen recording. And I can see this to be very valuable and useful for teachers who want to just do a quick two minute explanation, three minute explanation of uh, an idea or to answer questions. Maybe all of the students in your class have exactly the same questions. And so you want to address it in a quick short video that you put in your on your discussion board. Lastly, I want to say thank you, Canva, for giving educators in the world this wonderful, powerful tool and giving them the pro access so that we can really enhance learning for our students. Thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.